you have that creamy, smooth texture of fudge with those crunchy M&Ms. How can you possibly go wrong? G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love fudge? It's so fudgy, so delicious. And also M&Ms, both by themselves are a fantastic treat. But today I'm going to slap them both together and make it even better. So join me today as I make my version of M&M fudge. And don't forget to check out Todd'sKitchen.com for my new mug range and t-shirts and jackets. Okay, so we're going to start this off with a pot on the stove on a medium to high heat. So to that we're going to add in, firstly, two cups of sugar. I remember this is fudge and well fudge is pretty much sugar so don't be surprised with the amount of sugar that's in it. And three quarters of a cup of butter. Now melted or still hard like this it really makes no difference because it is going to melt pretty fast. And to that three quarters of a cup of thickened cream or whipping cream. And to help enhance the flavours just going to add just a little bit of salt. So basically just for the next minute or so we're just going to keep on stirring this over this medium to high heat until everything is dissolved. So the sugar is dissolved, the butter is melted, and everything is well combined. Okay, so as you can see, the mixture has been brought up to a boil. So now we're going to keep on stirring this, but we're going to keep on stirring it for five minutes. And what this is going to do is it's going to help cook the sugar, which will give that fudge a nice firm consistency. Just so when you take it out, it's not all runny or very soft. You want that nice firm fudge consistency that just stays in your hand and you can eat it slowly or some people fast. So it's like candy, the longer you cook it, the harder it gets. But fudge with all these ingredients, five minutes is just enough to maintain that fudgy firmness. Okay, so while our mixture is boiling away into a mixing bowl, I'm going to place in 7 ounces or about 200 grams of marshmallows. Any type of marshmallows will do. And then to that, 11 ounces or about 300 grams of white chocolate chips. Okay, so with our mixture off the stove, we're just going to pour it over our chocolate chips and marshmallows. Now, if you're using a stand mix like me, you want to use the whisk attachment. Otherwise, a normal hand mix will do. And we're just going to whisk it for a couple of minutes until everything is completely dissolved and the chocolate and marshmallows have completely melted and combined with the mixture. Okay, look at that, it's nice and creamy. And would you look at that, look how creamy and delicious that looks. Feel free, of course, to lick the whisker, but just be careful not to get your tongue stuck in it. And now finally for the main ingredient, and that's our M&Ms. Now, as a little tip, I've placed them in the freezer for a few hours. This will help prevent them from melting, because this fudge is still pretty warm. So you don't want the M&Ms to melt. But once they're cold, they're fine. And just with a spoon, just simply fold them through. You don't want to whisk these through because they'll probably dissolve pretty fast. And we don't want that. We still want those M&M colors. We don't want them to seep through. And that's it. Just a couple of seconds of stirring and it's done. Okay, so I've just got a lime baking dish here. Make sure that there's some overhang because it makes it easier to pull out the fudge once it's set. And just simply place our fudge into our pan. And you've got to work fast because this will start to harden up pretty quickly. As it's cooled down. Now you can use brown or dark chocolate for this, but I prefer white chocolate. Simply because it really brings out the colours of those M&Ms when you cut it up. So just going to smooth it out as best you can while it's still... See what I mean? Some of the colours are starting to slightly mix with the heat. That's why you want to work as fast as you can. Just so you don't have too much of a rainbow effect. Unless, of course, that's what, what you want. But I want that more neater white chocolate look. White fudge chocolate. 
It doesn't have to be perfectly um, flat on the top. In fact, it's actually better to have a bit of a swirly design on top anyway, because it just adds to it. And that's it. It's that simple. Now I'm just going to place this into the fridge for a good two hours to completely set. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the fridge after a few hours, and this is where the overhang really helps quite a bit. See, just pull it straight out. And just rest it so it's ready to cut up. Now it is going to be a bit harder as you take it straight out of the fridge. But when it comes down to room temperature, you're going to get that nice fudgy consistency. But I'm just cutting it straight out of the fridge. That's just why it's just a little bit harder to cut it first. And there we have it. Very simple, very easy. Very delicious M&M fudge. Now you can serve it straight from the fridge or let it warm up a little bit to room temperature where it's a little more fudgy. We get that much softer texture, which is what everyone prefers. So it's great for parties, treat for the kids, and just an all round favorite dessert that I know your entire family will love. But no matter if you have it as a treat or as dessert, either way, this M&M fudge is going to taste simply delish.